<clears throat> Hi everybody, welcome back to a, another class on Verbling.com with Abby. Today's topic is cities. So we are going to be learning about cities, talking about vocabulary that we commonly see in cities, and then looking at several different pictures and discussing them. Elena, welcome back to class. How are you? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. Uh, good. I okay. Good. Very good. Um, it's nice to have you back in class with us. Thanks for joining. Lucas, welcome. Hello. Happy. <laughs> How are you, Lucas? Uh, long time, no see. Long time indeed. Yes. Too long. A whole hour. <laughs> And Nacho, welcome back to class. How are you? Hi, Hello, teacher. How are you? Very Fine. well, thanks. Nacho, what's your plan for the weekend? What will you do? Uh, I'm, I'm planning to go to skiing tomorrow, the, the day after tomorrow. Cool. Now, Nacho, is that the verbling window open in your... No, I'm not. Elena, do you have the verbling window open? Uh, yes, yes, I'm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Just because I can hear myself repeating, can you close the verbling window? There we go. Thank you, Elena. <laughs> Sophia, welcome to the class. Good to see you. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. What are your plans for the weekend? Um, um, nothing special. <laughs> nothing special. You sound like me. <laughs> Good to have you back, Sophia. What about you, Sampoit? Welcome to the class. Thanks for joining us. Tell us about your weekend plans. Mm, I plan to join fundraising on cancer because tomorrow in the afternoon there is fundraising in university. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so they are maybe walking around the town, something like that. Ah, okay. Interesting. What about you, Jorge? Welcome to the class. Hi, Abby. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks for asking. Tell me about your weekend plans. Mm, I hope to meet up uh, with my cousins. Um, I hope to go out outside the city. Very nice. Do you often hang out with your cousins on the weekends? Um, maybe once a meet, uh, once a month. A month. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Thanks for sharing with us. Alexi, welcome to the class. How are you today? Hello. I'm nice Good. to see you. Nice to see you as well, Alexi. Tell me about what you have planned for Saturday, Sunday, or tonight. Uh, I I will I will work. You will you will work. Yeah. I will work. When is your day off? I don't understand you. What? When is your weekend? When do you have some time off of work? Ah, uh, no, I have not uh, weekend. You, you work every seven days a week. You work. Yeah. yeah. You're a hardworking man. Mm. Yeah. That's a good quality. Sometimes you need to take a break, though. <laughs> Perfect. The mosquito. Um, oh. <laughs> Perfect. So, today we're going to be talking about cities. If you guys haven't already opened the document, um, let's go ahead and start with Sampoi. Sampoi, what do you like about cities? And when I say cities, I mean cities with a big population. What do you like about that? Mm, I like I like city in the aspect that there are a lot of things going on and I can go buy food. Uh, 24 hour day. Mm. Just a lot of shopping mall and a lot of activities. Yeah, that's a nice thing about cities convenient shopping for sure. Sophia, what do you like about cities? 
uh, I like uh, the uh, overcrowded uh, um, situation when in, in about transportations or parties uh, which are bigger and better than uh, the small cities. Mm, excellent. Yeah, that's true. Um, a little bit more action, you could say, right? Things to see, people going on constantly. Nacho, what do you like about the big city? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, I don't like big cities. Uh, I prefer uh, medium-sized cities because it's more, more comfortable to, to live in a middle-sized city. The big city, you are all of, you have to you have to spend a lot of time in transport. Spend, okay, so that's what you dislike about cities. Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. So there's not one thing you enjoy or you like about a big city? Not one thing? Yes, of course. To be in a big city could be uh, more uh, more active. Mm -hmm. You can feel our life more active in a big city because you have a lot of plans to do in a big city. More than mm -hmm. in a small city. Yeah, definitely more um, more to do in a city. What about you, Lucas? Do you prefer a big city or a small town, and why? Mm, I prefer small town because uh, uh, in cities the time goes very fast, and there are many people, very crowd. And uh, I like only cities on weekends just to just to go somewhere and uh, go back to my home and uh, have have uh, mm, I don't remember what <laughs> and I have a normal life not not like. Mm, in big cities. So maybe a little bit more tranquil or laid back? Relaxed? Relaxed. The first two words. Mm -hmm. I tranquil. Don't, tranquil. I don't know what that means. Tranquil means peaceful, not loud, busy, noisy. Yeah, yes, definitely. Okay, cool. What about you, Elena? What do you prefer? Big, big city or small town and why? Well, I, I don't know what you mean by big city. Over a million people, for example? Sure, or a city that maybe has sky risers, it's crowded, there's traffic, yeah. but there's also a lot of big malls and shopping centers and amenities. Yeah. Well, and uh, I don't know what uh, and a small town means, because if you mean, I don't know, a... Uh, mm, um, a village with a uh, uh, um, uh, hundred people, for example. Why don't, why don't you just describe what you would prefer? If it's a very, very small town, you can tell no, us that. I, I, I would like a medium city. I don't know, um, with uh, 50,000 people or even um, uh, 200,000 or people or something like that, a medium city. Um, I think you can have um, um, a lot of things, uh, a lot of plants there, and um, all of them are near you, you can walk uh, everywhere. And, well, I, I like that kind of places, a medium city. Fantastic. But, uh, I agree with you. I don't like it too big and I don't like it too small. <laughs> What's the problem with a, a town if it's too tiny, Jorge? What's the problem with a town if it's too small? I think it, it, it depends on your personality because if some people like so much uh, the culture or the uh, like Paris, I don't know, maybe a small city, it's not the best place to have fun. 
But if you prefer a quiet place, uh, no crowded uh, places, uh, maybe a town city is better for you. Mm -hmm. And what do you prefer? What's your preference? Uh, to be honest, I would like the best of the both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to live in a small town, but at the same time, uh, have the opportunity to enjoy concerts or culture and the nightlife uh, that I can find in a big city. Mm, I'm the same as you. I want the best of both worlds. <laughs> I think for me to live in a small town just outside of a big city is a good compromise. So maybe you have to travel if you want to go to the city maybe 20 minutes, but at least it's convenient for you when you do want to go, right? Ali, welcome to the class. Hi, Abby. How are you? Fine. You? Good. Tell us about the city that you live in. Would you call it a big city or a small city? And what do you like about living there? I think uh, medium, not uh, so big or uh, not so small. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, an average city uh, for my country. And uh, I like about that uh, not uh, crowded uh, and not a traffic problem. Mm -hmm. you, you can go easily. Uh, uh, everywhere when you want, where you want. Uh, for example, you can go to work uh, in 10 minutes or 15 minutes uh, and back to home. Uh, that's all, I think. Wonderful. What about you, Alexi? Tell us about your city. What's it like? Alexi? Uh, sorry, uh, I, I, I miss you. you. Uh, what do you say? Tell us about your city. What is your city like? Uh, I like mid, mid, middle city. I live in middle city. I don't like a big city because it's uh, a very crowded, very noisy. It's uh, a traffic problem. It's a, uh, it's a uh, uh, crime problems. Uh, it's uh, uh, very far from the nature. It's not uh, not um, good um, ecology. Not a good not a good uh, environment for life. Mm. Uh, but. Uh, Small city, it's uh, very, it's a sleepy kingdom. Uh, it's not, uh, not, uh, not sports, not culture, not, uh, not uh, many people. In middle city, it's uh, um, uh, it's a. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to call it a medium sized city. Medium sized city. Uh, what, what, uh, what size? Medium. Medium? Mm -hmm. Meaning it's not too big. It doesn't have maybe a million or more people, but it's not too small where it's in the, in the small thousands, under 10,000. So somewhere in the middle. Medium sized city. Medium-sized city, uh, about uh, ha half million people. Um, okay, well, I'm a small town girl, so that's a big city to me. But I guess it depends on your perspective, right? On what you think. Natalie, welcome to the class. How are you? Hi, Natalie. Are you there? Hello, Abby. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? 
Very well. Thanks for joining the class. Thank Where you. are you from, Natalie? Uh, I'm from Israel. From Spain? From Israel. From okay. Israel. Where is that? Israel. Israel. Yeah. Cool. Nice. I haven't had a student from Israel in a long time. Tell us, what do you like about your city? What makes it unique? Uh, I like um, medium-sized city, but I live in small city. But uh, when I was born, uh, I lived in big city. And, of course, uh, uh, I know it, uh, um, uh, uh, in big city, we have a lot of problem with uh, the traffic jam, and of course, we have uh, so problem with uh, jobs and uh, crazy people. Uh, in small uh, um, city, we don't have a, a job; it's a problem uh, to find something. Uh, but uh, the original in small cities, uh, uh, very friendly people. And the uh, medium-sized city, it uh, depends the situation, depends uh, <laughs> they are, uh, if you live uh, and if you uh, um, uh, successful, uh, it's not a very problem, a problem to find something uh, to, for your professional, for your job. Uh, I prefer to live in medium city. Okay, thank you for sharing that with us, Natalie. It's nice to hear your expressions. So today we're going to be looking at vocabulary related to cities, and then we're going to use vocabulary to practice our writing skills. Okay, we're going to look at vocabulary, describe some pictures, and then practice writing descriptions or short stories about pictures that we're after we describe them. So I'll go ahead and share with you for those of you who prefer it. <laughs> okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and get started. Maybe we could have some poi. I'm going to highlight a few of the words in the list. I want you to read the words for us, okay? Okay. And they're deaf. Airport, the place you go when you want to travel by plane to another city. Bakery. You can buy fresh bread and cakes here. Bank, you can deposit or withdraw, take out your money here. You can cash a check. Bookstore, a place where you can buy books and magazines. Bus station, the place you go when you want to travel by bus to another city. Okay, so now your exercise some point is to choose one of the words Talk about it and tell us what it is like in your city. So you can tell us about a bookstore, a bakery, a bus station, anything you want in your city. Okay. Uh, right now? Mm-hmm, right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, in my city, uh, the bus station, uh, we usually take a bus because uh, in Bangkok, Thailand, there's a lot of traffic jam, so it's not quite a good idea to drive because you can lose a lot of energy of fuel during the traffic, so it's cheaper to take a bus at the bus station. Excellent. Very good. Now I want you to ask a different student a question using one of the words in the vocabulary. Ask them a question about one of the words in your vocabulary. Mm. Natalie, do you have a favorite bookstore? No, I don't have a favorite bookstore because I don't have time to books and of course I can buy some books for me because I don't like to read and of course I don't have time to reading. 
I have no time for reading. For reading. Good answer. Fantastic question, Sampoy. Okay, we're going to move over to the opposite end. Alexi, I want you to read the next few words and they're and then we're going to do the similar exercise. Okay. Um, batches, they sell fresh meat, coffee, you can buy a cup of coffee, and cakes or uh, sandwiches. Church, a religion, place of worship. Court, the place where they have trials and law cases. A judge works here. Okay, Alexi, can you repeat for me butchers? Butchers. B. Butchers. B butchers. There you go. And cafe. 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 A. A. Ah, cafe. There you go. Much better. Okay, so using one of those words, tell us about one in your city and w describe it. Tell us what it's like. <laughs> in my city, uh, this place, it's uh, um, the old place I work about uh, near, near, close to court. It's a big, big uh, building. It's very beautiful and uh, very, uh, it has um, a very beautiful garden around the court. Um, we have a uh, cafe and church and butchers. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, very good. So you have a court that's close to your house. It's big and beautiful and it has a nice garden. Wonderful. Now I want you to choose a student in the class and ask them a question using one of the words from your list. Okay. So ask them a question using butchers, cafe, church, or court. Do you need, do you understand Alexi or do you need help? Uh, w w w uh, w <coughs> Who, who, who need to uh, uh, take questions? You're going to ask a different student in the class a question using one of the words. So maybe ask Lucas a question using the word butcher or cafe or church or court. <coughs> For example, you can say, Lucas, how often do you visit the butchers? <laughs> <laughs> and Lucas have to answer? <laughs> sure, try, try to answer that for us, Lucas. Uh, mm, I visit the butchers not often, but... Uh, it happens once, <laughs> uh, once a week so, uh, because I have to eat something. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You need your protein, apparently. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent answer to the question. Let's continue. Let's have um, Sophia. I want you to read the next group of words. And then I'm going to get you to do the same. Sophia? Yes. A craft market, a place that sells typical products nor normally handmade of a region country, department store, a large store that sells clothes, household appliances, etc. in sections, uh, cinema movies, you can see the latest movies here. Many people eat popcorn while 
they are here. Excellent reading. Tell us about one of these things in your city. Um, uh, about uh, uh, department stores, stores. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they they are uh, big and uh, placed together with other stores. For example, bookstores uh, or um, or something else, so that you could go once and uh, buy different things. Perfect. Now I want you to ask Elena a question using one of those words. Uh, Elena, um, uh, do you like uh, craft market than no normally market? Um, if I, <coughs> uh, did you ask me if I like craft market? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, well, mm, yes, um, yeah, but, but we we uh, haven't a uh, craft market in, in my town. Uh, um, next month, I think, there will be, uh, there will be um, a craft market uh, during a weekend and uh, you can buy typical products and art artisanal handmade uh, products there it's very very nice but um, um, we ha uh, we haven't a uh, um, uh, stable um, craft market um, well I like it but um, in general I generally I, I don't like uh, uh, going uh, shopping I don't like to go shopping very much, so uh, only in special occasions. Very good. Thanks, Elena. Good answer and very good question, Sophia. Thanks for sharing that with us. We're going to go over to Ali. Ali? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Can you read the next, the next um, group of words for us? Okay. Fire station, the building where firemen keep their equipment, including the fire engine. Gas petrol station, the place you go to put petrol gas in your car. Gym, you can do exercise, weight training, and keep fit here. Hairdressers, you go here when you want to cut your hair. Perfect. So tell us about one of these things where you live. Okay. Maybe gas patrol station. <laughs> I go to gas station very often because uh, I need uh, gas for my car sometimes. Uh, How often? Uh, maybe uh, uh, one. How often do you go to the gas station, Ali? Mm, maybe uh, once uh, for a few days. Uh, three or four days. Once every three to four days. Excellent. Very good. I want you to ask Nacho a question using one of the words. Okay. Uh, Nacho. Do you go to gym every day? No. Uh, in fact, uh, <laughs> no. I I don't go to gym every day. In fact, I don't go never go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and why? Because I prefer to to work out uh, in the street or in the mountain. Nacho, you were telling us you'd like to go walk 10 minutes behind your house and go up to the mountain, right? Yeah. 
Yes. yes. I remember that. That's yeah. that's a little bit more refreshing than the gym, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, <think laughs> so. I prefer. I'm 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 I'm, I'm cheaper. And cheaper, absolutely. Does anyone here like to go to a local gym in their city? Uh oh, we're a bunch of couch potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes I, I have a seasons. I I'm going for three months, and I wait three months, and I started to go again. After three months. Okay, so you like to you're on and off, on and off with going to the gym. I have a gym. Uh, okay. Lucas, tell us. Mm, no, no, I don't talk. Oh, I thought I heard somebody say they have a gym. Something Ale was that Alexi? Alexi, I think. Oh, Alexi, what were you gonna tell us? Uh, repeat, please. What were you going to say? Did you want to say something about the gym? Oh uh, yeah, I see. I I have a gym uh, two time in week. Oh, perfect. Good. I like to go to the gym two times a week or twice a week. Thank you for sharing that with us. Natalie, can you read your words, the highlighted words on the screen share? Uh, yeah. Hospital, you go here when you need an uh, operation or someone is going to have a baby. Ba baby? Baby. Ah, baby. <laughs> okay. There you hotel. Go. hotel, where you sleep when you visit another city. Gallery, you can see uh, paintings and other works uh, of art. Perfect. So, Natalie, tell us about one of these things in your city. Uh, okay, um, Alexi, uh, do you have uh, some hospital or your city? Yes, I, <laughs> I uh, my in my city uh, is a uh, few hospitals. What about you, Natalie? Can you tell us about one of these things in your city? Describe a hotel, a hospital, or a gallery. Uh, okay, of course in my city we have hospital, hotels and gallery, but uh, I prefer to go to gallery and to see some uh, uh, paints and some uh, uh, artworks uh, because uh, I'm a designer and I like uh, to see some new, uh, some new pictures, so some new uh, uh, images uh, because I have uh, um, uh, uh, great uh, uh, imagine for my work. Excellent. They give you uh, maybe inspiration for something that you do. That's beautiful. Thanks for sharing, Natalie. <laughs> so, Ampoy, what are galleries like in your city? In my city, there's different kind of gallery. Uh, for example, a uh, gallery of insects. Uh, what? I don't know. I don't know what to call uh, the 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 painter of of usually draw everything about insect. They crazy about insect. So everything. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Have you ever been to that gallery? Yeah. And some gallery uh, have only flower. <laughs> Very nice. That would be an interesting thing to visit. Anyone else would like to share about the details about an art gallery or a place where is kind of unique in their city? The art galleries where I'm from in Canada are not very exciting. So I don't have anything exciting to share with you on that one. In my town, we are going to have a big exposition of uh, religious art. Um, I don't know, next month. Uh, it begins n next month it, uh, during, I don't know, uh, five or six months. 
and what is a uh, 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 event here? Perfect. So maybe um, how often does that happen? Maybe once a year or twice a year, Lena? No, no, no. Um, just just uh, this year. Okay. Uh, it's a, a kind of uh, exposition um, that uh, have been um, made in different uh, towns or cities in my region. Mm. My, but uh, and, uh, this year um, it's here in my in my town. And while all the um, bars and cafes and hotels are very exciting about it. Excellent. Thanks for sharing. And Elena, can you please read the next highlighted part? Uh, sorry. Can you read the next highlighted section on the on the screen share? Okay. Um, jail. Mm, wait a minute. Jail. Uh, prison. Criminals are sent here by a judge for a number of days of years. Laundromat, laundret, la laundret, a place where you can't wash your clothes in coin-operated machines. Library, a place where you can read and borrow books. Excellent. So tell us about one of these things in your city. Well, in my city, we. Uh, haven't any uh, laundry, but uh, I think um, um, in my country, in Spain, uh, <laughs> that doesn't exist. <laughs> Perhaps in some big city, but it's, it's not usual. You have your washing machine in your in your house, and uh, well, we have a um, quite a good library here in my town. Um, it's not a big library because um, my town is not big, but it's a very, a very good library with a lot of a lot of people go there um, um, every day, and it's it's very nice. Perfect. So I want you to ask um, Jorge one of the about one of the ask him a question using one of these words. Um, okay, uh, Jorge. Um, in your city, um, do you have a prison? Yes, uh, there are two prisons. Uh, one for men and another for uh, women. And it's funny because that prison is inside of the city. And it happened because when the city started to in, uh, spread, uh, uh, some uh, people started to, or some, yeah, people started to live around uh, those prisons. Okay. Excellent. Good question. Thank you very much for sharing. Nacho, over to you. I'm going to get you to read the next few words here for us. Go ahead, Nacho. From museum to mm -hmm. police station. Okay. Museum. You can see many old objects and sometimes paintings. Pharmacy, drugstore. You can buy medicine and legal drugs. Police station. You are taken here when you break the law and are arrested. 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 Excellent. So tell us about one of these things where you live. Um, in my city, there is a very interesting museum. It's a um, sea museum. I mean, we call it uh, aquarium. Okay. Um, aquarium, and you can find two different different uh, areas. The first one you can see a lot of a lot of uh, fish in the in, in a very big tanks water tanks. Mm -hmm. You can you can see sharks and, and a lot of other smaller fish. Mm -hmm. And in the other part of the of the museum, you can see 
all objects and all boats that the fishermen the years ago used to to take and to to to, to, to take to for to, for fish to take out to sea to take fishing to take out, yes to take fishing mm -hmm. and even if even in, to to fish whales. Wow, that sounds like a really interesting place to visit. Yeah, sure. Do people yeah. come from other countries to, to visit that, that museum? Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's in the, in the city is very near to France. In, uh, uh, they came out of French people to, to, uh, to visit the, that museum, yeah. Perfect. Thanks for sharing that with us. Okay, I want you to ask uh, Lucas a question using one of those words. Actually, no, ask a... No, ask Lucas, yes, ask Lucas. Lucas, okay. Uh, Lucas, um, have you been sometime in a police station? <laughs> uh, mm, no, no, I'm, I'm like a good boy. <laughs> uh, so I... Have uh, I haven't uh, been at police station? Uh, maybe I just visit the police station, but I'm not. I'm not break the law. You are not taking. Uh, you are not. You, 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 you didn't go to the police station and take uh, uh, arrested only to visit. Yeah. Yes. Lucas, are you sure you were not in handcuffs? Whoa. <laughs> Why are you in handcuffs? In, I... in handcuffs? Oh, I see. I see. I understand now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he says he was... I was just visiting the police station, but he went in like this. <laughs> Lucas, uh, if <laughs> you go to police station, it doesn't mean you are a bad boy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, in my country, if uh, you didn't have a police station, uh, that means something ro wrong with you. <laughs> oh, no. So you're saying, Ali, that it's more common to go to a police station than not to? Yes, uh, but uh, <laughs> not uh, something uh, if uh, you did something bad, uh, usually because of politic action. Okay. So, Ali, how many times have you been to the police station? <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ali! <laughs> That's true. Uh, I was uh, uh, in politic action maybe many years ago, mm -hmm. uh, uh, especially when I uh, was studying at university. Uh, we uh, uh, we were asking about uh, our problems. Uh, you know Kurdish problem in my country and the police mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't like me <laughs> or my friends <laughs> they uh, they were taking me uh, and my friends to police station or jail it's it was normal mm -hmm. in my country many times <laughs> Interesting. That's totally different than what I'm used to. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, Jorge, read your next four words and their definitions. I am not bad boy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Pop. A place where you can buy a beer or other types of alcoholic, alcoholic drinks. Park. An area of public land in a city that contains an area of grass where you can rest, play, or walk your dog. Sometimes children can play on swimming. A slide 
or a climbing frame here. Restaurant. You go here when you don't want to cook at home. They prepare meals for you. School. A place where children learn. You normally start school at the age of five. Excellent. So tell us about one of these things in your city. I, I have a question before. Um, what does slide mean? A slide? It's like an inclined um, ramp for children. So it's often like this, and then the children sit at the top, and they go, wee, and they slide down. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> at least that's the sound I make when I am on a slide. Yours might be different. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'd like to go restaurant, especially. I, I, I would like to try new foods. And if there are a new restaurant in the city, I would like to try. Um, his uh, eats new food. Okay, very cool. I agree. When there's a new restaurant, it's fun to check it out. Jorge, ask Sofia a question using one of your words. Uh, Sofia, how often do you go to a pub? Mm, I I often go to. I usually go to a pub. Um, once. Uh, in two weeks, but it depends uh, on months. Perfect, excellent answer. Who can think of um, uh, an English-speaking country that's famous for its pubs? Who can think of a country that's famous for its pubs? Ireland. Ireland, yay! Excellent. That's exactly what I was thinking. England as well is also famous for its pubs. And our last one is Lucas. Can you read the rest of the words? Of course. Uh, square and open area with, uh, within a city in the shape of square. It is usually the heart of the city. Supermarket, uh, large store that sells food, drinks, and household items. Video store, you rent a movie or DVD for a couple of days from this place, the zoo. A place where you can see many types of animals in cages. Perfect, so tell us about one of these things in your country. Um, so, uh, video store, we don't have uh, much uh, this nowadays because they are not popular, like there are, nowadays there are stream services and people watching videos uh, there. Uh, supermarket, I think like uh, everywhere in other countries, the same, big or medium, it depends on, on, the, on the market and uh, uh, zoo, 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 uh, I've, I, I have been only with two in my country, and there are mm, mm, there are medium, I think, not too big, not too small, and and square. Uh, I don't exactly understand the square. A square is like the central park of a city. So maybe there's benches and trees and there's a government building there. Usually that's how it's set up, the public square. 
the most popular school? Yeah, like at the center of the city, a park at the I center see. of the city. I see. So there are, there are many skyscrapers. And, uh, but I want, what I want you to do now, Lucas, is I want you to ask a different student in the class a question about one of those words. So can you ask Natalie a question? Okay. Uh, Natalie, uh, uh, with your uh, city, uh, which which uh, uh, is the favorite place of the square? Uh, in my city, we have a lot of square and uh, parks. Uh, uh, and uh, in my area, uh, I have so many uh, beautiful square. I uh, would like uh, to go uh, to this place uh, with my children. Uh, it's nearly from my uh, apartment. Very nice. Excellent. That sounds nice, Natalie. Any questions at all about the vocabulary that we've seen about cities? A lot of words here. Some of them you already know, but it's good to practice talking about them. Any questions at all about what we've seen? Jorge, what sound do you make when you go down a slide? Mm. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Kids uh, laughing. Kids laughing, exactly. Exactly. You're not going to act it out for us. You used to be the actor of the class, Jorge. I don't know what happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> I used to rely on you for acting in the class, and now you're getting shy on me. No, I do. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Jorge. Ignore me. It's Friday, and you know I always get a little bit crazy on Friday, okay? Uh, okay. That, that makes sense. Okay, so we're not going to have time to do our writing exercise, so it's going to have to be a picture description or quick storytelling with our words. We're going to start with Alexi. Alexi, what do you see happening in picture number one? Now, remember, the topic is cities. So tell me, what do you see in the picture, and how does it relate to our topic? Alexi. I see a man who is uh, who, who playing on guitar in, in the park. It's an electrical guitar. I see... Ampli I see amplifier uh, close to him. Uh. Excellent. Alexei, what do you think he is hoping for? Uh, hoping for? Yeah, what does he want people to do? Uh, he's uh, just... Uh, just play. <laughs> okay. Nothing. Thank you. Nothing else. Here's a uh, rest. Very good. Thank you for sharing that with us. Anyone else have a different idea? Okay. Ali. This is my city, Ali. This is Stanley Park, Vancouver. Tell me, what do you see? Describe it. I see it's a park uh, near the sea uh, and uh, uh, some people sit sitting on the bank and uh, two beautiful girls are running and uh, some uh, building uh, over the sea, I can see 
they things uh, most white buildings mostly. Mm -hmm. And I can't see clearly, but uh, good. Uh, it uh, looks like a good ar architecture. Perfect. Good description. Very good. Yeah, this is where I am from in Canada. These white sails, this is the Pan Pacific Hotel, and this is where cruise ships come that will take you to Alaska. Let's go down to the next one. Do, do, do. Elena, tell us about this number. Picture number three. Describe it. Tell us about it. Uh, it's a uh, terrible picture. Uh, so ugly. Um, well, th this is the worst side of big cities. Uh, pollution and fumes and well that kind of thing. <laughs> the uh, previous picture was uh, most uh, uh, more beautiful, of course. Um, well, uh, big cities um, uh, c can have uh, this problem: pollution, and they are they have. Um, uh, waste um, um, well, I don't know but uh, some big uh, cities are very clean now uh, at least in some countries uh, um, perhaps in another countries uh, um, the problems of contamination and pollution are very big but uh, not in developed uh, countries, I think. Um, the problems, uh, we, we are uh, taking the problems to other places, to other countries. Absolutely. That's a, that's a really, really good description. Thank you for that. And it's true, Elena. Many times the developed countries have cleaner cities, but they might be responsible for dirty cities elsewhere, right? Yeah. Perfect. Good job. Thanks, Alexi. You're right. This might not be a big city. It might be an industrial city. Many different types of cities that exist. Jorge, describe what you see in picture number four. What is it? Mm. I think this is, uh, I don't know how can I say in English, ghetto, a place where you can find people from the same nation, a, a group it, in a determined uh, place on the city. Okay, well, every, well, I'm just, in many major cities, you have something called Chinatown. Yeah. And that's what this is. Yes, but it, it's that, okay, if I say ghetto, or it's, mm, or not. A ghetto is like a poor area, for me, in, for, as a Canadian, ah, okay. when we hear the word ghetto, we think of really rough living, dirty conditions, bad living conditions. Maybe it's poor. That's a ghetto. So this would not be oh, that. Okay. And there is another word to describe uh, when you have uh, determined uh, people uh, located in some places of the city because um, the culture. Like they all grouped together there? Yeah. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, like Chinatown. Uh, I can't think of the word at this very moment, Jorge, what you could be colonies, talking about. for example. Um, Maybe colonies. Perhaps a colony. That might be it. Okay. Do you I have something like that something. in your city? Uh... I'm not sure. No, no, it's not common. Or oh, I don't know about my city, but for example, if you go to U uh, USA, for example, New York City, you can find very defined a uh, neighborhood for a uh, special nations. I don't know. You can find uh, the Latin, uh, the Italian uh, neighborhoods, or the Chinatown, or 
another kind of uh, nations. Sorry, Jorge, I can't think of the word, but yes, I know you are right. What you're saying is true. <laughs> I think it's colony. In Spanish, it's colonia. Okay, well, colony is a word in English, but that um, where, where we where I come from in Canada, I don't think we would call it that, but perhaps in the United States, that is the word that they would use to describe it. Okay. Thank, thank you, you, Jorge. Forgive me, please. <laughs> Lucas, describe picture number five. Mm, there's a beach. The view is very beautiful. <laughs> and uh, next to next to the girl is some tires and other used things. Uh, there is also the sea. Mm -hmm. And see, uh, and uh, the future, 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 future uh, is the bridge. I can see the bridge, and uh, the would you, would you like ah. to go to this beach, Lucas? No, no, not. Not on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look very nice, does it? Do you have any beaches where you live, Lucas, in your city? Anything in your area like that? Mm, no, no, we don't have <laughs> beaches. Only, only some place when where you can go to swim. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to number seven, Nacho. If anybody wants to go to the next class and they would like to make sure they get in, you can go ahead and leave this class. That's no problem. But Nacho, what do you see in number seven, if you'd like to stay? Yes, uh, in the picture, I can see a very big... Uh,